All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these divinity, these divine tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful energy reading. See what's going on. See what messages Spirit has for us today. Before we do, y'all should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading. Please keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you, and that's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know your life. Please use your free will and discernment to determine that because I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting. All right. All right. We also don't subscribe to gender roles. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and feminine energies, which we all have both within us. So flip flop yourself as you need to. Roles may be reversed. Once again, do not force it. All right. Finally, I am big on numerology, whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you were born, maybe even the house that you want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you. At this point, you will see the decks that we are utilizing. I've been called to get closer to the ancestors, right? See what they have to say. And um, so we're going to use the native spirit oracle as the header i guess and then the angels ancestors oracle as the clarifier okay so before we get into it let's get a quick word of prayer to the most high heavenly and divine angels ancestors spirit gods i come to you saying thank you thank you thank you thank you so very much for this day and for this opportunity thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective no chaser Thank you for the voice of reason and insight and awareness. Thank you for the love and the support. Oh, thank you. Thank you for opening up our heart chakras. Thank you for the healing energy. I pray as always that you allow the message to uplift, enlighten, heal, strengthen, nurture, protect even. Speaking of protection, I humbly ask you to block, bind, cut any ties cords connections anything that has us stuck stagnant or confused any energies low vibe energies or entities that only come to steal kill and destroy or cause hurt harm or danger i ask that you remove i ask that you transmute if necessary dissolve whatever is needed to keep us protected i thank you i thank you i thank you all these blessings I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, 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 oh. All right, y'all, let's get in it. 330 may be an important number for somebody. You may start seeing threes in general. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. What do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have for the collective? Please make it plain. Oh, yep, that popped right on out. Hold on, y'all. I got to get it. Hey, wow. Okay, I paused it at 21. And I say wow because I'm out in the elements, y'all. If y'all can't hear or tell by the background, and um, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to do these mobily, but still give y'all, you know, the visual. Anyway, as I was digging to get these, pick these up, and I was like, please don't let me lose my cards in here. I found uh, the King of Air from the Good Tarot. <laughs> That's very significant. Uh, Aquarian energy for me, strong, heavy. Could be any other air sign. I'm even hearing Libra. But this is hey, this the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but this is Archangel Michael coming through, y'all. 101, I just saw with the stamp of approval speaking of and cutting, removing any blockages, anything like I just said in the prayer, anything that has been blocking or keeping you stuck, stagnant, or confused. Call on Archangel Michael if you are if you need guidance um, as far as which way to go, as far as the truth, 
the whole truth. That's what like this, whoever this energy is. And I feel like that with, from this card, I'm getting heavy ancestral. I told you everything happens for a reason. And there's no coincidence that I was drawn to use these two particular decks and that they fell exactly where they fell for me to even find this card. Archangel Michael is coming through. Your angels, ancestors, spirit squad are coming through y'all trying to show you that they are there. They are trying to lead and guide you and show you the way. Show me the way. Come on, come on, come on. All right, yeah, we're going, yeah. So don't be surprised, hey, don't be surprised. You get that, I hear that niggling. If you get that niggling, y'all might want to check out the readings from last week in case you missed it. I don't know. But anyway, from the Native Spirit Oracle, we got two that actually popped out together. Spirit of Earth and Song of the Wild. I'm telling you, and it's bringing me back to one of the readings. I feel like maybe it was a week before last. I don't know what, whatever day it is. If I can find it and, fit, and remember to link it, I will. But don't count on it. I'm just saying. But the the what it's bringing me back to is the reading that I was saying. Some of you have a soul song to sing. And I told y'all in that particular listen to the birds, I'm telling you that air energy coming through heavy. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Listen, listen. Sing your song, baby. Sing your song. Tell, speak your truth. That's why the king of air, that's why I found that. You know what I mean? Stand in your truth. Speak up for yourself. Like, some kind of way i feel like this is healing energy not not just for yourself but for the earth for the world right i mean you you are the world <laughs> you are the children we are we are one and the same and i'm looking at a black butterfly man i'm telling you i don't know you have a message though and i feel like just you speaking your truth telling your truth being authentic in who you are and what you stand for at a soul level, that's that's meant to transform and help. Look, two birds. Look, they going at it. I mean, they like playing. It's it's a it's a free spirited type of energy. I feel like they connected. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, wow. Okay, song of the wild. There's something about this blue that's calling me. I'm telling you. Spirit of truth is what I just heard when I said that. And that's what that king is bringing me back to that king of air. Use, um, you can use lapis. You can use, um, um, I'm hearing, uh, what is it? Blue lace agate. Just something about that to work with the throat chakra. Listen, bottom of the deck is talking stick. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> that's the message. That is the message. Plain as day. And even I'm drawn to these feathers on this stick, like there's something that you are supposed to say. Or maybe it's the message that you are receiving from your ancestors. Honey, they listen. They, they, mm, mm, I don't know. They're trying to bring it to you. You may start seeing a lot of birds heavy, y'all. Yeah. That air energy is coming through strong. If you don't have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, especially Aquarius heavy in your chart, or maybe this is coming through Aquarius season, like the enlightenment, like, I don't know, this transformation as far as you speaking up for yourself and standing up for yourself. I heard on guard. Is somebody doing, what is that, fencing? <laughs> That's what I heard. Maybe you are, maybe you have been on defense, like, mm, no, but first clarify is shale and master. Be graceful in movement and action, and you don't have to, like... I heard cutthroat. You ain't got to be so cutthroat, y'all, especially with this sort of truth. With like, honestly, some of you, if you have been overly verbal, you know what I mean? Like saying too much, don't say a word. Silence is deadly is what I just heard. You, you, It's time for you to um, back, 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 back. Give me 50 feet. That's what I just heard. You don't got to say nothing. Remove yourself from the situation, especially if they ain't even hearing you. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't trying to hear you nor see you for who you truly are. It's like, mm -mm, don't even waste your time there. OK, it's something, too, about getting in this because it's the, the, the orange, the sacral chakra. Get into um, get in, get out and get in the nature. Y'all get in, get in the earth, put your feet in the earth. OK. Heal, transform. Some of you may be may be born in the year of the dragon or have that spirit guide totem. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let's see. What is this song of the wild? Remember just to be graceful because it's it's more for yourself. I don't care how selfish that sounds. That's what it is. Like when you when you're dealing with people, when you're trying to handle other people or whatever, especially in what oh watch your mouth that's what they said just be mindful of your words because you speaking that over your life too you know so okay what is this song of the wild what is the song of the wild some of you may uh with the shayla mask i'm getting heavy scorpionic energy speaking of that sacral chakra okay even some fire with that dragon so aries leo sage maybe Oh, thank you. The night. Be brave and honest. And I'm telling you, this goes with standing in your truth. Because this is clarifying the song of the wild. And it's, and you see how he's wielding, or um, not even wielding, but how he's holding on to that sword. Like, like I'm here. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Y'all, I'm by the water, so, you know, you're going to hear boats and all kind of stuff in the background. Just It just is what it is, okay? But, yeah, this is he's in deep meditation, too. You may be dealing with, because I'm getting um, Knight of Swords, since he, it does have that sword. So, heavy on the Gem Geminian energy here. But, again, I told you, it could be any air sign. It does not have to be at all with that either, though. But it's like, speak peace. Be at peace. But, I, he like he's at peace he's in meditation right that's what i'm feeling and it's like um he's receiving maybe these downloads i told you something about the enlightenment even with that king of air from the good tarot so listen bottom of the deck is high priest intend and create and that's what you're gonna need to do stand in your truth speak your truth whatever it is i told you at a soul level and speak that to your angels ancestors especially to to bring forth in what what it is you intend to create in the physical okay with this high priest i'm getting heavy taurus energy it's bringing me back to the spirit of earth so you may be dealing with an earth sign especially a taurus or have a heavy heavy in your chart it could be virgo or even capricorn does not matter any of the other signs i done called out here already right it's powerful because the way that i got them sitting right here the high priest is yielding his uh what is i don't even know his staff his rod whatever that is he has in his hand by the way, hawk or eagle may be a spirit guide totem for somebody, but he's yielding that right at the night. And it's almost like, it's almost as if <laughs> he put him in a trance is what I heard. But I feel like that's just like, I feel like the high priest, your high, the most high is, um, like God has you in a trance or trying to put you in this, in this meditative state to receive. You know, whatever that means to receive the downloads, especially the enlightenment, the healing, because I'm getting four swords out of this night, which is Libra and energy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Something about it. Something about it. OK. All right, y'all. I feel like that's that's where I'm going to leave it. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow especially in including yourselves. And I pray this is what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. If you want to join me for any other type of video, please check the playlist on my channel. I hope and pray to see you there, and I hope and pray you find what you're looking for, okay? Until the next one, be easy. Don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Deuces.